Hi everyone, I'm Chris Perry, Product Manager for the LiveView Air Control Platform. Today, I want to give you a short introduction to Air Control. It begins in the configuration screens. Let's start with user management. All users inside of Air Control are LiveView Central users. Now, they can be any user type inside of LiveView Central, and once they get added to Air Control, they get applied a role. Now, in this case, roles are made up of a series of permissions that are designed to be very granular and allow you the ultimate flexibility in carving out exactly what each person inside of Air Control should be able to do. Once you've added your users to the Air Control platform, we can then add addresses to our address book. In this case, these would be guests that are coming on air. We click the Add New Address Book button. We enter their name, email address, title, and phone number, and save them in the secure database. Now, one thing to note about the address book is that this is an explicit permission. All users have to have the address book permission to view the address book. Otherwise, in other places in the platform, all that's displayed will be the name and title of the address book entry. Now, once you've added your users and your address book entries, it's time to build a show. That's done through the Shows tab. In this case, I can click the Add New Show button. I can give the show a name. I can give it a start, date, and time. I can set a duration and define the pre-show and post-show windows. Now, the pre-show and post-show windows define how early that program could be joined. Think of this how early a meeting could be joined. And the post-show window determines when that show moves from an active to an archived state. Once I save this into the system, I then go through and add my feeds. Now, the feeds page is all about video return sources, as fed by the LiveView video return server. We begin with the program feed. We can select whichever program feed we want. We can select the prompter feed as well, if we have one. And then we can define our multi-view layout. The system comes with five different multi-view options, from being able to display a single window, a dual split, a quad split, two up with eight underneath, and finally, a nine-way split. Once I've selected my multi-view layout, I can then configure the under-monitor display labels and define which feed should go where. In this case, I'll put program in my top left. I will put prompter in my top right. And then I can choose other feeds that might be hitting a LiveView video return server. When we're done here, we hit Save, and now we're ready to move on. The next tab in this interface is the Channels tab. This is a list of LiveView output channels. These could be channels that are located on-prem or in the cloud, outputting SDI, NDI, SRT, RTMP, any LiveView channel that you currently have today can work with Air Control with no need to upgrade the platform. To begin, I select which channels I want, and I add them directly into my show, and I can save this. This is a management tool. We give you the ability to select channels that should be in shows, not because we want to limit it, but because it's sometimes it's necessary. Maybe you have two shows going on. Control room A should have the first four channels. Control room B might need the second four. And by limiting these channels inside of the air control show, we're able to give the user ultimate flexibility as they build their production dock. The last two tabs have to do with people, users and participants. Users are your crew. So I can select the crew members that I need to add to the show and add them. They will then be able to join the show through the production dock once it's time for that show to start. The Participants tab allows me to select which guests I need to have in my show. I can select which guests I would like, I can add them into my show, and then I can invite them. Now it's great because I can invite them directly through the Air Control platform. I simply select the guests that I want to invite, and I hit the Send Invite to Selected Participants button. If I want to invite all of them, I can hit Select All and invite all of them. Now it actually uses an integrated template right within the Air Control system. You can see this template on the right-hand side. You were invited to participate in show, and then we populate the show name. Dear participant name, please join show show name by pressing this link. Best regards, the show name team. This template is customizable so that you can make sure that your guests get exactly the invitation that you want them to have. When all is said and done, it's time to launch the show. Now, if you're already in the pre-show or active part of the show window, 
you've got the launch show button in the top right hand side of the user interface. If it's not quite time yet, you can go back to the shows list. It'll show you a list of shows. You can find which show you want to launch and hit the start show button. This will launch you into the production dock, our single pane of glass user experience for managing all your show elements. On the left hand side, you'll see those guests that we invited. If they've already joined the show, you'll be able to see them. In fact, you can even throw them in pre-fade listen and talk directly to them from the production dock. If they haven't joined the show yet, they'll just appear and say not in show. When they join, immediately appear, you'll be able to see and speak with them. Now when it's time to move one of those guests to a Ready for Air channel, I simply drag and drop them into the Ready for Air channel, and that establishes the high quality LRT feed from the guest's machine to your LiveView server. This ensures completely simple operation for all users in the workflow. Now the production dock offers a number of systems of control for managing guests in real time. First of all, I can kick any participant at any time simply by pressing the kick button next to their name. This will remove the participant from the show and invalidate their invite link. If they need to rejoin the show, you'll need to send them another invitation. Once I'm in the production dock, I never have to leave. I can add new users, crew members to my show. I can also view my address book and add new participants to my show right from the production dock. If I select a participant and invite them, it'll use that template that I talked about just a moment ago, and they'll receive that with the link that they can click and then join the show. Now let's say you're in a breaking news situation, and you might need to add somebody who's not already a member of your address book. Instead of having to go back to the address book and add them, you can add them right from the production doc through the new participant tab. Enter their name, title, an email address, whether or not you want to add them to your address book and invite them to the show. Now once I'm done with a participant, I can hit the eject button and it removes them from a live view channel. This returns them to the guest users column where you can continue to coordinate with them using the pre-fade listen and talk buttons right within the user interface. And at any point in time, send them back to a live view output channel, again, simply by dragging and dropping that feed. Now Air Control has an integrated production booth that allows you to talk and listen just as though you were sitting in the same room, even in this virtualized environment. Now the talk and listen settings are different for the production booth than they are for the guests and participants. This means that you can listen to a participant, talk in the production booth, talk to a participant, listen in the production booth, at whatever combination of listen and talk you require in order to orchestrate the participants of the show, you can do that right from within the production dock. Finally, back in the show configuration screens, I can view my current shows, but also my archive shows. I can select any show I wish, Using this eyeball icon, I can see exactly what happened in that show, what my feeds were, which channels were used, which users and participants took place in the show. And at any point in time, if I want, I can duplicate this show, either from an archived show or from a uh, current show. In this case, when I hit the duplicate button, I can set a new start date and time in the future, and that's it. It saves all of the settings that I had from this previous show. Feeds channels, users, everything that was in there is now part of this new show record. As you can see, air control is an easy and sophisticated way to get guests on air, as well as manage your on-air talent and collaborate with your crew. We're so thrilled to see how our customers are going to be using this in the field very soon.